Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. A Labour councillor on Inverclyde has suggested a little plan that will both annoy the hell out of the SNP and help people directly. He's saying that upcoming monies coming from the levelling up department headed by Gove should go, and wait for it, directly to the councils to ensure they have the funds rather than being given to the SNP government and knowing that the councils will never see the monies being handed over. It would, of course, put a real cat among the pigeons. It would make the SNP go livid because they can't get their grubby little hands on that cash to lift off their cut first and then pass on the crumbs from the table onto the councils in some kind of show of being wonderful. Look how little we're giving you, but at least you're getting something. Meanwhile, they're going to spend that money on independence. If the money goes directly to the councils, as it can, then they will be uh, they will be helped, and it will give them direct funding over and above the little pittance that Shona Robinson is throwing their way. Let's take a look at this story and see if Gov is up for it. It could be a true moment of madness if he does, but boy, will it be entertaining! Here goes. Now, from the start, we've got to be honest and say it probably won't happen. It's not unprecedented. Money has been given directly to councils before, uh, but it would be an absolute annoyance to the SNP. On the other hand, and I think there is a possibility that if he does do this, if Gove does give the money directly to the councils and not through, uh, through the SNP, it may swing a few people in Scotland to start thinking, well, maybe, maybe I will vote Tory this time. They are actually putting the money where their mouths is. And uh, it's it's something that may draw one or two votes away from the SNP. Who knows? Certainly when councils that aren't SNP councils get the money and are spending it and doing things over and above what the SNP want them to do, it's uh, more of a kick in the teeth for the SNP than it is a benefit to the Tories. Although I think it would undoubtedly be a small benefit to the Tories. I think it's just the idea of kicking the SNP in the teeth that pulls me more to this idea. Anyway, Stephen McCabe, for it was he, uh, has written to Michael Gove in a move that escalates the rows between councils and the SNP-led government. Uh, and more on that, my next video is also about Lanarkshire, and I've got two stories, uh, but they're very, very closely interlinked, so I'm going to put them both together. Uh, and Lanarkshire looks like it is going to be giving the big uh, Spanish fiddler, El Bo, to the council, uh, council tax freeze. But that next video. So do hit the subscribe button. You won't want to miss uh, Oh, any of them. Don't want to miss any of them. Come on. Anyway, we're getting uh, a council leader has urged a Tory cabinet minister to torpedo the SNP government's council tax freeze by funding local authorities directly. Labour Stephen McCabe made the plea to Michael Gove after the Scottish government tied funding from Westminster to accepting a freeze. Now, what Westminster do is they'll give money, for example, for adult social care. And they're saying that's for all the adults in Scotland that need social care. And the SNP are, SNP are going, oh, that's fine, that's fine, fine. Oh, we've got this money now. What should we do with it? Oh, let's spend it on independence. Or we've got this money now. We'll give it to you. But you councils, if this money is directly supposed to go to you councils to look after the people in your uh, areas who need help. But we're not going to give it to you unless you bend the knee and kiss the ring. So they're actually now, the SNP government is directly withholding funding meant for vulnerable people out of spite. That's where it is. And that's why I think if they withhold that 45 million that they magically found, uh, that was the money meant for adult social care, uh, I think that any council that doesn't receive its cut of that will sue in the courts and the SNP will lose. And so maybe something like that may, my, uh, may, may mean that Gove is minded to fund directly since money's given aren't reaching the people the money is given for and that is why i think it may well happen i can't guarantee it i won't i wouldn't go so far as to say it'll probably happen but i say it may happen uh anyway stephen mckay made the plea to michael gove after the scottish government tied funding from westminster to accepting a freeze we just read that Hamza Youssef is at loggerheads with councils over his insistence that they use 147 million pound funding from his government to keep the council tax at current levels. Uh, and it's not enough. And there's going to be massive cuts if they try. Because the tiny, tiny amount of money that uh, the moron that you can see in the picture there has given 
um, isn't enough to cover it. It's not even enough to cover what they're currently spending, never mind the uplifting costs with rising inflation. Critics say the move benefits the wealthy, which it does. Those in bigger houses would have a bigger rise, and so they're saving more money. Thank you very much. And it leads councils to making deep cuts. And deep cuts from a council means the vulnerable pay more. But, uh, you know, old 86 there doesn't care, does she? She doesn't understand these things. It's all a bit more than she can possibly understand. Because, after all, she is as, sh as thick as shit, really, isn't she? Uh, USAS deputy, uh, deputy what? Deputy leader or deputy idiot? Uh, Shona Robinson tried to offer a sweetener by offering councils another 45 million of money given by the uh, central, by the UK government for vulnerable people. So money that should have gone to them anyway, um, if they behave themselves, basically. And uh, yeah, it's it, it's wrong. The cash is expected to derive from increases in spending in, in England on adult social care. The portfolio of levelling up secretary Michael Gove. But Robinson has said the 45 million will only be handed over to town halls if they freeze council tax. This is a move that's infuriated local authority bosses. And another thing that breaks the Verity House Agreement. The Verity House Agreement actually has it written in there that money's given by a UK government for specific purposes will be handed over regardless. There's no bending the knee. You have to hand it over. So the very house agreement's out the window. But you didn't expect anything else. We know the SNP are all a bunch of liars. You can't be trusted. McCabe, the long-standing leader of Inverclyde Council, has contacted Gove and asked him to bypass the SNP government. And boy, do we hope he does. Regardless of whether the council is Labour, Tory, SNP. Don't care. Give it directly to them. And if the SNP councils want to hand it back, that's up to them. Uh, he wrote, you will be aware from press reports that the Scottish Government's Deputy First Minister and Cabinet Secretary for Finance, Shona Robertson, has advised Scottish councils they will only receive a share of the estimated 45 million of Barnet consequentials from the UK Government if they agree to freeze council tax. I'm seeking your urgent intervention to ensure that all councils in Scotland receive a share of this additional funding. Should it be allocated by the Chancellor in next week's UK budget? And basically saying, please don't give it to the SNP. Please give it directly to the councils. McCabe, a former Scottish politician of the year, also copied in Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. Uh, many councils have agreed to freeze the tax with Argyle and Butte, the only one so far to back a rise. This decision infuriated Robertson, who publicly, who publicly criticised the local authority. Yes, how dare that public authority, uh, the local authority, go against what I tell them to do even though I have no authority over them, even though I am just a moron who does not understand the needs of ordinary people. Because I live in an ivory tower with my head firmly shoved six inches right up Hamza Yousaf's back. Oh, honestly. Oh, I'm not going to get angry. Stay safe. I'm going to come up, though. Uh, we'll round off the video and uh, we'll draw it off. But it's just... Um, I think it's a great idea. I really do. I think... Um, McCabe has got it, and I do hope Gove does do that. If nothing else, if nothing else, it will make Shona Robinson look like a complete, impotent, stupid, nasty little woman that she is. Coming up. There's so many things that Gove could do, and there's and other departments, rather than giving the money to the SNP at the Barnet Consequentials, they, if they started giving it directly to councils, so, you know, oh, we've, we've, done, a, we've done this repair. Oh, we're going to give you this. Oh, we've done that. We're going to give you this. And did it directly to the councils. The SNP would literally be powerless over them. If the council knew they were getting this money year in, year out, without the uh, the, the crawling and kiss arsing of going to uh, the SNP government, they would be a lot more... Well, certainly they'd be well-funded. There would be a lot more funding. But technically, they'd be a lot more willing, I think, to, to do things knowing that they're not having to keep their minds on what the SNP want in order to make sure they get enough funding for the following year. There'd be no control on them, put it that way. The SNP couldn't ride roughshod over democracy, and I think it wouldn't be a bad idea. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit me uh, hit the uh, subscribe button. My word, I've forgotten that already. Uh, hit the like. Do leave a message in the comments column, and I will see you and speak to you later. Bye. It's a confusing day.